All right, all right, YouTube, what is up, man? It's your boy, Damn D. We on my secondary channel, Damn D Live News. So make sure if you're new to this channel, y'all hit that subscribe button. So what I want to do is uh, we're going to do all this stuff in order, right? Um, we seen Gravity Snake out uh, make his video about Kwame on what he should do and all this other yada, yada, yada jumbo stuff, right? And... I made a response to his initial video. Then I responded to Kwame's response. Now, Carcino is about to respond. So, let's just dive into it. I got some timestamps that I that want to highlight from Carcino's. Um, and let me say this off the rip. Like, now, me and Carcino never talked, right? I'm sure... I don't even know if he watches my videos and no disrespect to Carcino. I don't I don't really watch his videos. Um, it's no disrespect, but I got so much stuff going on and I'm I watch I watch people con content for content. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I may watch other people's stuff just for pleasure, or whatever. But most of the times when I'm on YouTube, I'm looking on YouTube for content. And, uh, so it's no disrespect to, to Carcino, but I don't, I don't really watch Carcino like that no disrespect at all but and I'm sure he don't watch my videos you know what I mean like we do two different things you know my video is a whole bunch of beef whole bunch of you know whole bunch of YouTube stuff and he does what he do so it's, it's no disrespect or nothing like that so I don't want people thinking that oh D is teaming up with Carcino no I've never talked to Carcino I'm he I'm sure he don't watch my videos and I don't watch his videos in respect right respectfully um so there's no ties okay there's no ties this is not ganging up this is nothing like that but i just want to react to carcino um giving his opinion on gravity snake out right because this is youtube you are allowed to give your opinion and you know what's funny that gravity takeout has gravity takeout is mad that Carcino is giving his opinion, but he look. I'm, I'm gonna tell you how double talking Gravity Takeout is. So Gravity Takeout comes to the internet and gives his opinion on what Kwame should do and why he loses subscribers. So he thinks he can give his opinion, but it's wrong for other people to give their opinion about him. Like like that's how much of a double talking hypocrite this this dude is like he just this dude is just sad man so um i got some time stamps that i want to play salute to carcino make sure if y'all haven't um subbed up to him sub up can to an eight thousand year old herb really and, increase uh, i just want to react to his react to his reaction so let's get into it thoughts were with kwame basically he gave his opinion on what he his thoughts were with Kwame but I've seen people like gravity take out before they mean well but do they really Bats. they apologize before they say something they, you know they, the people be like you know no offense um, with all fairness and then they say something offensive right after facts double talking them double talking people I, I, I agree what he says he says that he means well but does he means well I think Gravity Takeout express how he truly feels, right? And we're going to get to it later. It's like, I really not even say it. <laughs> Just keep it to yourself if you really felt like that. But the thing is, is that I see you wanting to give some advice and try to give some, this is why things are happening to your channel in a certain way. It's because you're going back and forth with these people. No, that's not the reason any of this is like happening in the format that is happening. Now, once again, it's not that gravity is right or wrong, right? Could he be right? Absolutely. But gravity takeout is making it seem like that's the only reason why people are unsubscribing. That's the difference. That's what I need y'all to realize. People that are thinking like me, people, people like Kwame, people like Carcino, people in the chat, that are trying to educate gravity takeout bro it's not just now could people 
be getting tired of Kwame talking about Mr. Skinny. Absolutely. It's a possibility. But that's not the only reason. That's just a little piece of the pie. That's just one slice of the pie. There's a lot of other reasons why Kwame Channel is the way that it is. And it's not just because he's talk about Mr. Skinny. But Gravity Takeout made it seem like that's the only reason why people are unsubbing. It's not because of YouTube. It's not because he shadow banned. It's not because he, you know, did what he did. Or it's, it's not because people are lying on him saying that he hired a child molester. Not saying that he punched his kids, punched through a window, calling like, do y'all know all the crazy stuff people have said about Kwame Brown? So it, it has to do nothing about that. The only reason why in Gravity Takeout Mind that people are unsubscribing is solely because he's entertaining Mr. Skinny every single day. That's not correct. That's not correct. The reason why these situations are happening in the format that is going down is a very simple reason. And that reason is called sabotage and tampering. Mm -hmm. Get ready for the Pepsi National Battle of the Bands presented by Toyota Saturday. His page has been sabotaged by major platforms. These little guys here keep doing false flags and all of this stuff. They already have an agenda towards Kwame Brown because he's not saying what the public wants to hear. Okay. You think these things happen to my channel because somebody under me is doing something or somebody over me is doing something? You know, you got people that have connections deep within YouTube. They partner with them. They have connections with them. And all of the things that you were saying, if YouTube wanted to get rid of you, all they have to do is just get rid of you. No. And then that'll be that. No, 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 they can't. Because you have rights too. Exactly. They would have to explain the reason as to why they did such and such and such. You can't just, YouTube cannot just shut your channel down because they want to. No, they can get sued like that. They can get sued for that. So what they do is they create problems. They create narratives. They slow down your videos. They slow down. They shadow ban you. They don't push out your notifications to all your subscribers. You got people false flagging you. You got people, it's, it's so many things. It's not just because, could it be a portion of it? Absolutely. Could some people be getting tired of Kwame talking about Mr. Skinny? Absolutely. That is a possibility, but that's not the only reason. That's just a small piece of the pie. So what they do is just like you want to fire someone at your job. It's called a paper trail. They do like a paper trail, connect the dots and do they due diligence to try to make it as look as if people have lost interest Facts. and you just dwindle all the way down into the abyss. Facts. So that way you see if anybody tried to come at them, they say, look at the progression. You see the steps. If he, he listened to the tips and the tricks and the trades mm -hmm. and you see, that's what it's about. Foolery. I agree. Now I have nothing against Gravity Takeout. Nothing. I do. Fuck that hoe ass nigga. <laughs> Tired of that nigga, but that, that nigga is annoying as hell, bro. I hate, I really hate niggas like that. These fake ass positive people, these people that just jump out the window, don't do no research. These men that believe all women. These men that don't apologize when they wrong. Gravity know he's wrong for, for jumping out the window, not knowing the facts of Sister T, just jumping out the window. And then when he realized that he was in the wrong, he still ain't apologize. And then he goes, he accuses my back to school driver being fake and being all this. And when I show proof, does he apologize? Nah. That bitch ass nigga just gonna create another false narrative. If if something doesn't work, he just moves moves on to the next. He ain't a real man and will be like, you know what? I said this, I said that, I was incorrect, I apologize, and just move on. Nah, this bitch ass nigga, when I expose him for all the lies that he's telling, he just goes and tell another lie. 
he just goes and runs with another false narrative. So fuck that nigga, grab it, take out, bitch ass nigga. I just, we don't converse. We don't really say anything. I have no problems with him. I got you know, it's just that we've seen, I've seen people do that behavior before and they Snakes. continue down that path of doing things that seem to contradict what it is that they really are about. Max. I've seen the positive guy do the most negative things. And Max, it talk to him. The most positive guys do the most negative things. Talk to him, Sino. Talk to him. It's that they really are about. I've seen the positive guy do the most negative things Thanks. and then go back to being the positive guy. I've seen that. Thanks. But my thing is, you can't tell Kwame Brown what he should be doing. Exactly. I mean, you can, but what the hell? What would saying, oh, he can't do you. You can't tell him how to feel. I mean, shouldn't he just ignore it? Yeah. I mean, yeah, we were sitting there it like, hey, it ain't affecting us. Right. You know what I'm saying? Should he ignore it? Yeah, ignore it. But when someone disrespects your dead mother, I mean, they he disrespected you in an awful, terrible way. People can deal with it how they feel like deal with it. Exactly. He probably had enough because he's being attacked every single day. Every day. Every day. Every day by so many different people. See, y'all don't understand how that feels. Y'all don't understand how that feels when you are constantly getting attacked. Now, I don't know how that feels. I have been attacked, like my attack comes and goes, right? My attack comes and goes. Some people may talk about, talk about me for a couple of days, then they move on to something else, right? But I ain't been attacked like Kwame from so many different people. People, people be having 12 hour live streams talking about this nigga. People be having work shift live streams every single day about Kwame. Just lying, creating, man, I'm telling you, it's different when it's you. When you on the sideline and you watching, it's entertainment for you. But it's different when you're the one that's being attacked every single day. It's different when you are the person that everybody is talking about lying creating false narratives talking about you a r word you 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 punch through a window you you know all the crazy stuff that people are saying it's different when it's you hey sure he's doing that to try to build his page up but he's actually destroying his page at the same time you just don't see it i see it you probably don't but that's cool some people will see it some people won't That's not the main point. The main point, as I stated many times prior, it's always going to be what the public want to see and hear. And because mm -hmm. Kwame Brown has had all of these different entities happen at the same time. Hold on. Get ready for the Pepsi National Battle of the Bands presented by Toyota Saturday. That's why I tell people, listen, this is where we are in today's society. Me to do something. Get your ass off my damn screen. The school drive. I do that every year. I've been doing it since 19. I don't have to speak for Kwame Brown. Kwame Brown speaks for himself. I can give my own thoughts. And Gravity Takeout, you can give your own thoughts, but just say, hey, these are my thoughts. But if you didn't share those thoughts with him already, when you have access to him, then it looks a little jaded, you know? Facts. That's the main issue right there with me. That right there is the main issue with me. And now comes to find out they exchange numbers. Kwame said that he has Gravity Takeout's number. So that means Gravity Takeout has his number. So it's crazy, bro. It, yo, it just baffles me how this double talking, bean pie eating ass nigga had the audacity to say that I should have hit Kwame Brown behind the scenes. I don't have Kwame Brown's number. I don't have his direct line. The only way I talk to Kwame is through, is through Instagram. 
and that nigga barely checks his Instagram. That nigga barely checks his Instagram. So I, man, bro, I talk to that nigga once every two months, maybe. But you had that, you had his direct contact. And you're gonna blame it on you losing your phone. Man, stop the cap. So you didn't have iClouds? Oh, you lost your ID. You, you, uh, you uh, forgot your password. So you can't retrieve your password. Like he just got so many ex excuses. Nah, nigga. You wanted to make a video. You wanted to get views. You wanted to get popping back in the algorithm because you see me over here doing my thing. You, you see all this stuff that's, that, that's, that's going around right now and you wanted a piece of the pie. That's it. You wanted a piece of the pie, so you want to get back in the algorithm because nobody watches your Tasha K gossip videos. So you want to get back in the in the mix. Now welcome back, because I'm definitely about to get you back. Hey Gravity, I'm gonna get you back in the algorithm. <laughs> I'm gonna get you back in the algorithm, boy. No, it's like why wouldn't you have act, tell me that? I would have told you. Had you been following me, you would have found out why. You know I'm having these problems with my page and all of these different things. You think they care about what a drunk got to say? Like the drunk got the power? No, he's going against the status quo and the butt kisses. Then you say anything about Vlad, you see what happens to me. Right? You see why many of y'all don't have this notification right now. Y'all watching this video later. Like, man, I didn't even know this video was made. Because they're submerging it down. But we keep moving. We keep it rolling. Thanks. People keep hitting the like button. They're going to keep going to get the information. They're going to subscribe. They hit my cash app up. Carcino. K-A-R-C-E-N-O. Hey. They tried to sabotage and make another cash app still hey. around Buzz Light. You probably meant well, and if you meant well, <laughs> you should have reached out. Guys, 50% bigger meals are here, and they're made for men with serious appetite. Kwame, you get the support at Kwame Brown Buzz Life. He don't need me to say that. He got more subscribers than me. He don't need me to say that. I say it because I want to say it. And Gravity Takeout, you, you probably meant well, and if you meant well, you should have reached out Facts. to Kwame. Don't Facts. act like, man, I got, I got his number, but I don't, I don't be trying to hit him up and doing all that stuff. I don't try. If you, okay, well, if you don't do that, then why you, might, why you talking about him now? Facts. You, if you, if you got that kind of arrogance, like, I don't, I don't try to hit him up. I had many numbers since then. And all, all right, well, then what's the point? Exactly. <laughs> I, I really don't get it, and exactly. I'm not attacking you. I'm just confused. So if anybody wanted my take on it, I saw it and I was just like, why did he feel a need to? have to say that like that like you can have that conversation with him behind the scenes and you Facts. can't tell another man how he should feel Facts. like we thought we addressed that a long time ago of course everybody say hey ignore that drunk you know like but when someone you know disrespects your dead mother and and your family members and going way above lines that he should never be doing you can't tell that man how he should feel about it when it's happening to him every single day Every single day Every on like day. two different channels, he's doing it, doubling down. Every day. Hit the like button. <laughs> hey, yo, he be taking them long ass pauses, boy. <laughs> Shout out to Casino, but he be taking them long ass two minute pauses. <laughs> Cause they know they're gonna get attention from it. They're different. I'm different. I'm above everybody else. But then in the end, they're... Get ready for the Pepsi National Battle of the Bands. Presented by Toyota. Sap. They're using Kwame's name because they know they're going to get attention from it. And then they know other people are going to speak on it. And then next thing you know, it's like, well, I'm not showing his videos like everybody else. Everybody else likes to do this. I don't do that. Everyone else does this. Not everybody's doing that. But to not say Kwame benefited, Kwame benefited everybody on YouTube. Thanks. I got a beneficial got benefits from playing Kwame on my page early on last year and everything else and when everybody turned against him I didn't go run into the hills like everybody else or a lot of other people there was no need for that so if he feel like this is therapy for him to go ahead and move on in that phase in that phase of life then I'm with it this is how he chose this is how he chose to move
like I don't really deal with damn D. I have no problems with damn D, but I don't deal with him. Like we don't we don't consort. He don't make videos about me. I don't make videos about him. See, I told you. <laughs> I told you. You know what I mean? Hey, I'm not I'm not taking what 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 he says personal at all. You know what I mean? We just got two different lanes. We got two different channels. You know what I mean? I respect him as a content creator and I'm sure he respects me as a content creator, but I'm sure he doesn't watch my videos and I don't watch his videos. I just salute, give and give respect. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. The only thing we have in common is that, you know, like we support Kwame Brown and stuff and come do his stuff, but I don't really watch Damn D all the time. But like I'll watch some of the other people before I would watch him, but it's no disrespect to him. It's just that I don't really deal with some of the stuff that he do. It is what it is. We got two different lanes. I'm hey, I'm milkman, milkman, yeah, that's me. Hey, I pfft. There's no shame in my game, you know what I mean? I enjoy this beef. I enjoy this milking. Hey, it is what it is. Ain't no shame in my game, you know what I mean? But, you know, he does different content for me. Hey, that's perfectly fine, you know? He probably don't deal with a lot of stuff I do. You know, uh, I deal with more sports and NBA. He don't really, he deal with more with, you know, this, this type of environment, like 24 hours a day. I can't do that. I would go crazy if this is what I had to do 24 hours a day. I love it. Oh. I love it. I can't. I can't move. I love it. YouTube TV has it no hidden fees. Joy. <laughs> and includes unlimited DVR space. I have fun with it. Even at, uh, I can't even have that frame of thinking. My brain don't even move in that format. So I when I look outside and I see people over there and I see people on this side and then I got to go back on that side, it's a whole different world. It's, it's a different fun. experience. It's fun. So, Try it. So much life going on out here, man. I think there's another if you part. didn't know that and just came out and my opinion is that you should have probably reached out to him but hey gravity takeout can have his opinion i just felt my opinion is that you should have probably reached out to him if you have his contact information Thanks. why would you if you didn't know that and just came out and say that definitively in the way in the tone you used it don't matter if you say and like me i could say hey you know you know no offense no offense you know, you're a piece of shit, but no offense. No offense. <laughs> that's 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 basic, man, bro. I hate when people do that. Hey, no offense, but I'm a I'm a, about to offend you. Hey, no disrespect, but I'm about to disrespect you. Like, man, stop that double talking bullshit, man. Gravity takeout, he was throwing shots. He was telling you how he really feel, but he was trying to say, oh, I ain't trying to disrespect you, but let me disrespect you. Nah, bro, that, that those are all. And and once again. The thing is that I'm holding him responsible too, right? I'm 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 holding him accountable of his words because he, this nigga had the uh, and, and I'm gonna keep repeating this over and over again. This nigga had the audacity to say that I should have hit Kwame behind the scenes. You have Kwame's phone number. You have his telephone number. You have his direct access if you want to call Kwame right now you could call and be like yo I don't agree with you I don't have Kwame's number the only time we talk is on Instagram and that nigga is trash as fuck on Instagram <laughs> he don't check his Instagram at all Kwame knows that Kwame knows that he's trash at checking messages all right Kwame is trash at taking messages <laughs> And I say that respectfully. <laughs> but yeah, I don't I don't have his direct number, but you did. But instead of you calling him, you made a video. Contradicting, double talking, bean pie eating ass nigga. Oh, you know <laughs> and then somebody get mad, you're gonna be like, hey, wait, wait, wait. I said no offense. I said no offense. <laughs> I'm not saying that's what you say. I'm like paraphrasing how some of your tone came off. It came off as a bit arrogant. Thanks. A little bit. And you know, maybe maybe you didn't try it or meant it that way. It did, by watching it, it came off a little bit arrogant. Very, like you're better than very like arrogant. everybody. Very you arrogant. almost had that kind of tone about yourself. I agree. I agree. I agree. <laughs> boy, he be doing them long ass pauses, boy. <laughs> you know, I always say that to people. I say, you know, it's it's. It's different for me. 
especially for me. The nice talking guy, the, hey, you know, I just want to get along. Just because somebody can put a period in the right place or the comma in the right place don't mean that they smart. This um, is not saying anything about gravity takeout. Okay? Yeah, no, I, I'm saying it. You ain't saying it, but I'm saying it. I'm saying it. Facts. Stop believing this, 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 this dictionary spitting, thesis reading. Man, bro, yo, gravity don't do nothing in real life. Show me one video of him giving back to the community at all. All this nigga do is do the same stuff that we do, and then he complain about us doing the same stuff that he's doing. That this nigga is a walking contradiction. He talks about other black people destroying black people, but what does it what does he go do? He go jump out the window and start trying to slander people's name, try to, to defame somebody's character and don't have no proof. Falsely saying that my back to school job is a scam. Falsely accusing me of working behind the scenes with Gilbert Arenas and, and this and that and, 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 and taking up for a walking, talking gorilla. Man, fuck that nigga. I'm saying it. You ain't got to say it, Carcino. I'm saying it. Fuck that nigga. I'm saying in general. Just because you can put a period in the right place, and you're a comma, you read all these books, don't make you smart. It don't mean you're right. Facts. Because your heart could be in the wrong place. Facts. Your brain could be in the wrong place. Facts. I know some people that can barely, they stutter, they can barely put words together, but they got good heart. I like that. They good people. I like they mind right. I trust I like them that. more than I trust anybody in a lot of these situations. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Sometimes loyalty is just shutting the F up. Hold on. Why my horn ain't working? Hold on. Why my horn ain't working? Hold on. I, I, I need to blow. I need to blow the horn on that. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, you said what? Oh, you said what? Oh, shit. What the hell happened? Oh, okay. Hold on. There you go. Hold on. Here we go. Say it again. It ain't working. Why's it not working? What the hell? Hey, I, I'm gonna blow the horn on that. Hold on, I gotta, I got I gotta go over here. Hold on, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow that damn horn. I'm gonna blow that damn horn. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta blow that damn horn right there. Sometimes loyalty is just shutting the f up. Sometimes loyalty is just shutting the F up. Really? To be honest, that was a, that was one of the, the last lessons I had to learn. Sometimes loyalty is just shutting the F up. Bats. That is it. I, I, I Some of my most loyal people I've known just shut the F up. They didn't say nothing and they didn't need to. And they were the most loyal people I knew. Yeah, but they just knew, like, I'm just shutting the F up. I like that. Get ready for the I Pepsi like National like Battle like of the Bands. Presented by Toyota, Saturday. I like that. Most of the disloyal people I've known, they were the ones jumping out in front. Some of the most disloyal people, what? They jump out the window, don't they? The most disloyal people in the world jump out the window. Talk to him. And what this nigga Gravity Takeout do every single day? He jump out the window. This nigga head got to have so many bumps and bruises on it. I see why he got a lace front. He got a lace front on top of his head trying to cover up all them marks, all them bruises. I'm just shutting the F up.
Most of the disloyal people I've known, they the ones jumping out in front. <clears throat> you nasty motherfucker. They was jumping all the ways out in front. Look at them long ass pauses. <laughs> they the one to try to show. Hey, no, I got this. I'm showing my loyalty. Have you noticed the most disloyal people are the one that talk about how loyal they are? Facts. This has nothing to do with gravity take take out. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, it does. I'm saying it does. You ain't saying it, but I'm saying it. It got everything to do with that whole ass nigga. <laughs> I want people to get getting these things confused. That I'm talking about him. I'm saying I am in general I'm saying in gravity takeout the most disloyal people you meet is the ones that's trying to show and tell you all the time about how loyal they are Ooh, I like that I like that I like that I gotta prove something to you you got to know I'm loyal I like that my loyalty has never been on trial my and if ass. it was, I would never prove it to him. I'd be like, if you don't know I'm loyal right now, then you might as well not talk to me then. Because yeah, then you'll never know. Because I'm not going to do nothing else above and beyond. I don't know why people so, are me. So, I'm like, I ain't going to be jumping around wearing a flashing shirt that says loyal to the soil and <laughs> flashing lights and stuff. They'd be, oh man, he must be loyal. Look, this shirt glowing said loyal to the soil. <laughs> he went and got it tattooed on his arm. Look, loyal to the soil, baby. Tat, tat, I'm loyal. Tat it up. I've seen these people. You have to realize that most of you know I've been around Floyd Mayweather. All right, there and most there. of you. So there we go, right there, man. Uh, that's all I want to highlight on Carcino responding to Gravity Snake Out, Gravity Backstab Out. Just, just a whole ass nigga. Gravity, use a whole ass nigga, like for real. In real life, boy, I wish I could. I wish I, boy, I would smack you. I, I, I would. <laughs> I would love to get in the ring with you. Cause I just hate niggas like you, bro. It's and, and, and it's not even just you. I just hate niggas like you. I hate you fake perpetrating ass niggas. That's swear you think you better than everybody. You think you the most positive. All you do is talk. You don't do no action. I hate niggas that just talk. 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 Show something. Show something that you for the community. Go to the community and give back. Go to... Do something other than just get on the computer and gossip like Tasha K. You want to be the next big gossip queen, don't you? Because that's all you do on your channel. It's your boy Damn DM signing out. Salute to Carcino. Make sure y'all go sign up to Carcino and unsubscribe to Gravity Takeout, bitch ass. We out of here, y'all. Peace.